please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to get the latest video updates for my channel this video is all about how we can use devskin in our application so devskin is a id provided by microsoft so let's quickly navigate to devskin website so they have got one github page available with them so if i simply type d e v s k i m then this is the first page which would be getting so this dev skin is available over here so what it says is like it is a framework of ide extensions which provide inline security analysis in dev environment as the developer writes code so it directly binds with your id that is like visual stack visual studio so it has got extensions for visual studio sublime text as well as vs code so what i am going to do is i am simply going to go in the visual studio extension or marketplace i also have visual studio installed and i have created a simple project with secure programming and this is a console application so once i have navigated over here i can see the example how it is telling me how is the problem so what i am going to do over here is i am simply going to go in the marketplace and i will search for microsoft dot dev skin or rather than going over here and typing this what we can do is in google we can type dev skin visual studio so it gives us a link to the marketplace so as soon as i download this plugin so one more thing to note over here is like this plugin is only working with visual studio 2017 till i have created this video so you need to make sure that you are using visual studio 2017 if you want to use this plugin so the plugin is being installed so it's saying that visual studio community edition 2017 it wants to install i'm saying yeah go ahead install it so for working with this i need to close my visual studio let me close it so as soon as i close my video it starts the installation of sub modules of this dev skin so i think it's uh, hanging up with some place so let me quickly go again and download this so now it's in initializing it will search for the version of visual studio which is installed with you so once it has got the version you can simply hit the install button and now you can see that visual dev skin has been installed in your machine so let's quickly go ahead and start our visual studio 
I will simply open my latest empty project file that I have created. as you can see it has opened the program file so for the demo of this purpose I will simply go ahead and create a method that is like something like public string check strong hashing And for checking the hashing, what I will do is string file name for that particular hashing. So once I have created this method, what I will do is I will create a variable for hash where hash and let's say I want to use md5 md5 so for using md5 you need to use this security dot cryptography I will simply say I want to create md5 and over here I am saying using where stream is equal to file dot open read so make sure that this is file for using this I need to import system dot io so over here I will be passing my file name simply I will say return encoding dot default dot get string and I can give my hash dot compute hash okay so let's see what all errors we are getting so it's saying it must be initialized before using so the important thing over here is that if you see beneath this md5 you can see a purple squi squirrely over here so if you hover over there you can see that it's saying weak broken hash algorithm so what we can do is we can simply control dot and we can use some strong algorithm so let's say i want to use sha256 so this algorithm is much better than the other one so this is how devscan works with your application so basically it checks for the security aspects of your application so what kind of hashing are you using are they vulnerable, or vulnerable to outer world or all that kind of stuff this is how we can create secure programs using devscan so thanks for watching the video